This is Lady Lisa interviewing James from Hellstar. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We were just talking about the full moon. Yeah, I know. It's great. Any craziness happening? Not yet, but uh, I'm sure it's going to. <laughs> well, you got here a little bit late. What were you doing earlier? Uh, just everything it took to get here. Flights, coming here for sound check, late dinner, go to the hotel, change, and then back. And before we knew were it, it was like... 10:30. Were you able to do a sound check? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got here around 8:30 and I didn't see you guys sound check, so. No. <laughs> no. So, how has it been touring? Well, I mean, this is the first day of the little mm. I pref I prefer to say little run because touring to me is more of an expanded yeah. situation. Uh, really all we did was build some shows um, around 70,000 tons of metal. And I used to live in Tampa, so I have, I have a rapport with. with I've the heard mug. about that, yeah. yeah. The mug and uh, Heather, and so I said, "Hey, I'm going to be doing seventy thousand. I want to do a Tampa show, and then we got a show tomorrow, tomorrow in Miami with Flots and the Jets, and which yeah. is the official pre-party. Then we go on that, and when we get back, we got a day off, and then we do uh, Melbourne again next Saturday. Then That's we go a home. pretty yeah. crazy drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, it's just a couple of shows we threw into the mix. Well, the band was primarily formed in Houston, Texas, yeah, right? Yeah, where so we're still from. 1982. Yes. Uh, I was so five years old with the band. Five years old. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in 85, so I wasn't even born yet. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm, you were born in 85? Yes. Okay, so then I'm eight years older than you. How about that? <laughs> So what's your favorite band that you uh, have toured with? Uh, I mean, you know, it, it's too, bit too far and in between, so many of them, you know? I mean, it's a lot of great bands I've toured with, and they've all been fun, you know? I mean, so it's, yeah. um, it's kind of hard to say, you know, say, oh, that, that tour was better than the other, you know? It, yeah, I'd rather leave it at that, because it, it'd be almost prejudiced to say, oh, that tour was better than the other, because every band I've toured with has always been great. So. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite place to tour, or your favorite city and venue? Um, I always enjoy doing this thing called the Alcatraz uh, Metal Festival in Belgium. It's a big festival, but it's just the way they run it is so cool. How do they run it? That you, uh, well, it's just um, it's different it's a than others. More low key, and it's indoors, and um, they just they treat you really, really well there. And they, it, I don't know. Every time I go there, I have a great time. I've done huge festivals in Europe, but. Sometimes they're, they're too big and then and it's like too much for me, you know. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I don't like running from one stage to another. I got five stages going on. It's like crazy. <laughs> well, with all the bands that you have toured with like over the years, what would be your favorite band that you have toured with? As far as my, in me being in a band or just different bands I've toured just with? Just the bands that you toured with that um, would be yours. Like musically anyways, for my own taste or something? Personality-wise, too. There's some bands, you know, they're a little uh, different. Oh, I, see, I see where you're going. Okay, yeah. yeah. I see where you're going with it. Um, when we did the Anthrax tour, that was cool. You know, they were very, uh, it was, of course, that was in the good old days. Um, but also, um, toured with Ripper Owens, which was a good, good tour. And um, Agent Steel was probably another really, really awesome tour. Yeah. Awesome. Your recent album that you came out with, what would be your favorite song? I don't know. It's not really just so much my favorite, but it's the song that everybody kind of goes crazy over because it's it was like if it, if it was a hit, it would have been our hit. It would have been our highway to hell, I guess. You know? Yeah. It's called Run With The Pack. Run with the pack, yeah, it's, like it's, wolves. <laughs> and it's just, you know, it's got a real catchy chorus. And when we do it, every time we do we always end the show with it. And every time we do it, every, everybody, you know, just sings it. And I don't even have to sing it. So I get to go do my Jägermeister. That's why it's my favorite song. So do you actually live in Texas or do you live somewhere else? No, we still else? live in Houston. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you go back to your family? Uh, do you miss them when you go back, when you're on tour? I, my two cats, fuck them. No, I don't miss them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do miss them actually, but but then I don't, you know, because I know they don't miss me, and that's what pisses me off. They wouldn't even come out to say bye. They're just like one of them's already sitting there with the remote control. Yeah, dude, yeah, take care. I hope the, the flight makes it all right. They're mad at you whatever, for leaving yeah, whatever them. Whatever I can say that makes you think that I do care, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who takes care of them when you leave? Oh, we have people come watch them. Like usually my brother will come watch them because it's vice versa when he leaves, and you know he's got a cat, so we're cat people. I'm a crazy cat lady myself. Oh, I love cats, yeah. Yes. 
So what are what are your cats, your breed of cats? Uh, one of them's a Persian. Uh, she looks like Sylvester, you know, and she's a kind of a, a white black. She's the, I call her Hollywood because she's the one that's always filing her nails and like, you know, did I tell you to touch me? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Just go make sure there's food in the bowl, asshole. Stupid. And then the other one's lovable and she's just a black cat. <laughs> so you have like a angry cat and you have a, yes, a friendly a cat. cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but the, the angry cat, what's funny is when she gets, when she does get affectionate, she goes overboard. You know, so it's, it's weird. She goes from one extreme to the other. I call her Sybil. I'm like, make up your mind. <laughs> I think she's going to menopause or something. Yeah. Menopause. <laughs> well, how old are they? Uh, one of them's 10, almost 10, and the other one is 9. And, the, uh, and one of them's actually from here. When oh. I lived here, yeah. uh, that's when I first got her, and that's how long I've had her when I moved back in 2003. So when you did live here, what would be your favorite place to go? Would it actually be the Brass Mug? Yeah, the old mug. I used to play there yeah. a lot with my cover band, my tribute band, and stuff like that. And I made, I did a project with uh, Paul and Jack from Cannibal. And mm -hmm. um, me and Jack Owen had an Iron Maiden tribute called Power Slave with Richard Bateman from Nasty Savage. And so I got to mingle with a lot of the cool people. My, I guess my best drinking buddy was Jerry from Diabolic, who is now in uh, Solidium. Yeah. And we used to go by the name of Gilligan and Skipper. One, one night we got drunk and I kind of saw it that way. Like he was a little buddy and I was <laughs> Skipper. <you know? laughs> when you guys were on different record labels, because you were on like four other before you were on AFM Records actually right. recently. So what happened with all those record labels that you are now on AFM? Well, you know, you, you run your course. You, you, you do what you can with those labels at the time. And, you know, life goes on or the band breaks up or... Or the 90s came around and metal died and grunge came in, so Metal Blade said, you know, hey, we're going to sign a bunch of bands that are kind of in that vein now. You know, you just it's just a million things that go on. But, you know, once you've, once you've made a career that long, it's not that hard for other labels down the road to be interested. And, yeah. You know, well, you know, you didn't want them, we'll take them, you know. It's not, and, and it's always almost the same kind of situation in every label. Uh, this is probably about the best situation I've been in so far. Well, what would you say would be your favorite band, actually? Not to tour with, just in general, what would be your favorite um, band? You know, and that's very easy because somebody asked me this the other day, and it, it's not even metal, but my favorite band of all time is the Beatles. The Beatles? Yes. Yellow Submarine. <laughs> yeah. Well, even the, uh, from the old days to when they finally just called it a day. But yeah. It's one of my favorite bands. So if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go, and what band would you pick? Or bands, if you would have, like, a little tour? Oh. Cities you would visit? But, well, if I could go anywhere in the world, which I don't think there's much of a market, then I was going to say I wouldn't want to go to Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> but <laughs> now you mentioned bands, I'd say, well, maybe Finland. You know, I mean, uh, that way I can see the uh, Aurora Borealis, whatever that thing is. Aurora like, Borealis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's got to look so kind of weird out of space. The crazy colors. Yeah. 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 Aliens. <laughs> um, but I guess if I was going to tour that area, I'd probably want to tour with a band if they could get it. If they ever got back together again, it would be Sentence. So, what would be um, your favorite place to visit? Iceland. Sorry, yeah. Iceland. So it is still Iceland. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> with AFM Records, they do a lot better job than the other record labels that you were on, or is it just like? It was done and over with. Well, it's, 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 not, it's not really so much. It, it is a better job, but it's also a um, it's a it's a point in life where the band has already evolved so much yeah. that it's also making their job much easier to, to do better for us. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're younger, you're sometimes you're not doing the right things for yourself mentally, anyways, and you can cause a label just extra stress that they don't need. Right. In this case, you know, we're pretty much self-proficient and. The more you self-proficient, the label's more liable to do a lot more that you want because they trust your judgment now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yes. They're like, okay, this guy is half a century old. He's got to know what the hell he's doing. He's not making his stuff up. You know? Right. <laughs> well, what would be your craziest or funniest tour story? If you can't talk about the craziest, but like a funny story that you would like to share that you had on the road. Oh. Mm, that's a good one. Um, I, oh, I think it was one time when, here we go with uh, not being uh, mature, <laughs> being young and being in a metal band and being crazy and um, I don't know what enticed us to do this but we were on tour and we were in Rochester, New York and me and the guitar player were drunk and it was because there was nothing to watch on TV. 
Um, it was late at night, just before cable days and all that. And I think only two channels worked. And one channel was, I don't know, something stupid on, and the other one was maybe what we call infomercials now. We yeah. So pissed off there was nothing to, to watch. He goes, I'm just going to pee on this TV because it's worthless. And I said, I'm going to join you. And we uh, did. No. blew up because of the pee. <laughs> it blew up? <laughs> well, you know, it fried. <laughs> We didn't expect that. Did to you happen. see sparks so flying was, yeah, out of the yeah, TV? Yeah, like serious sparks? Did it catch on fire? No, no. But uh, you know, then we're like, oh my god, what did we do? And I'm like, oh, I'm, <laughs> let's just check out and not say anything. But then again, I don't know. You know, I think uh, after the, the the pee burned burned into it, you, the room smelled like pee. <laughs> so <laughs> they're gonna know something happened in that room. You know. If you have any advice to actually share with anyone while you're touring or what you would do, what you wouldn't do, or with even record labels, would you like to share it with your fans? Well, yeah, good get advice. a lawyer. Get a damn good music lawyer. And really, that's put it as simple as possible. And that'll, 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 that'll save you much, many, many hurdles to have to jump through and lose. <laughs> Do you have anything else that you'd like to say to your fans? Hey, thanks for supporting us for 30 years. And uh, it looks like the way things are going, I'm going to be doing this for another 30 years. It's a damn curse. And uh, what can I say? As long as I can keep doing it, uh, and the day that I got to start wearing Depends, it's over. <laughs> All right. Well, it was really nice to meet yeah, you. It was a good here. interview. Aww. All right.